Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching Farutech. Yesterday we uploaded a video for in-depth review of Stable Oxygenus 15 update features for OnePlus 12R, which was rolled out for users last week. You can check that from the link given in the video description. But immediately we got the new update version 300, which was added all the AI features back in the OnePlus 12R, which were missing in the old update of Oxygenus 15. We also got some other interesting features in this update with the battery improvement claimed by OnePlus. So today in this video, we are thoroughly going to check all the new changes with the in-depth preview of all the AI features that I didn't got in the first Oxygen OS 15 V201 update. We also discuss some battery performance stats, so watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. First, we will check out how you can update your device if you still didn't got this update. You can check I was on the old OxygenOS 15 version 201EX01 with the October security patches. Even in the OT updater, still I didn't got this new OT update. If you got this update via OT updater, then you don't need to follow the procedure I am going to show you now. Download and install the OxygenOS updater application from the Play Store. Open it, give all the permission to the application. Now you should get this new update Oxygen S15 V300 EX01 with the full change log. This update is of around 1 GB in the size. Tap on the download. Once download completes, you will find the 1 GB update package in the root of your device file manager. Now go to the version option of the about device section. They tap on the 8 times on the build number. This will enable the developer setting. Next go to the OT section again, there tap 3 dot menu from the top right corner, then choose the local install and select your downloaded package file. System will verify that update and you will get the details of this new update. Tap on the install, once done, tap on the restart now. So our installation of new update had been done. You can follow these same steps if you still didn't got the Oxygenus 15 update on your device. You must be on the Oxygenus 14 V832 update to get the stable Oxygenus 15. Once device reboots, you get this flashing system update notification in the notification panel. Now let's check out the about device section. We can now see our device has been updated to the latest Oxygenus 15 V300 build. You can also check the complete change log of this new update. In the version section, version number is updated to V300 EX01. Kanna version is same as the old bit. Android version is 15 with the latest November security patches. Only security patch has been updated here for this new build. Now let's check out the complete change log given by OnePlus for this update. First one is now you can share the live photos with iPhone directly. If you take any live photos and then via photos application try to share this to iPhone who gets dedicated iPhone share option. But to get this, we need to enable the iPhone share toggle in the connection and sharing option. Next small change is OnePlus now optimized the clock widgets on the home screen. They will adjust the size automatically if you try to add multiple widgets. Next another small change is if you use the enlarge folder, even if you add the multiple applications in that folder, they will look clean with the 3x3 apps format on the home screen. Next OnePlus added the new gesture to enable the split screen for any running application. We just need to do the swipe up gesture from the bottom navbar pill towards the left side of the screen. This will immediately split the currently running application on the top of the screen and if you open any other application it will convert into the pair of split screen applications. Next is the system and stability improvement. This was a common chain lock of all the updates I have seen for all the OnePlus devices. So I did the small Geekbench test here. Without performance mode, I got the score of 1085 and 3999 for the single and multi-core. For the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics API, we got the score of 8511 and 9242 respectively. But the results got highly improved when we enabled the performance mode. Here we got the score of 1920 and 5064 for the single and multi-core. For OpenGL and Hukong graphics, we got the score of 9004 and 9215. 
except the Vulcan API results, all other scores are drastically higher with the performance mode on. OnePlus 12 are already power packed with the powerful 8 Gen 2 processor, so obviously it will give the better scores and the smooth real life performance. But one thing I noticed right, even though I ran this heavy performance test, still device temperature was very low for all the cores, it remained between 50 to 27 degrees Celsius. Now we will discuss all the new interesting AI features that are now available in this new update. First one is the AI assistant for the OnePlus Notes application. When we open the application at the bottom right side, we get this AI assistant option. Here we get the different options to format, clean, polish, elaborate and the shortening of your current notes. Suppose if you select the format option, AI start to scan whole notes and then create the well formatted new text for us. If you like that, we can tap on the replace option available on the right corner. This will replace the whole note with the newly formatted AI text. Similarly, polish and the clean option will create grammatically corrected versions of your notes. While elaborate and shortening option will shorten the notes or elaborate it more with the AI generated additional information. This is somewhat similar to the most popular ChatGPT AI features. Next AI features are available in the edit setting of the photos taken with the OnePlus camera application. In the first Oxonus 15 stable update, I just got the AI eraser feature. We can check that how it works in our old video. But now some extra features like AI details boost, AI unblur and the AI reflection erasers are added. When we try to access these new features, we get some preview of these features, how they work with the smart tutorial. After processing of the photos, we get small compare button at the bottom right side of the screen. We just need to long press it. Immediately it will show us the original photo without effects and when you lose the button, it shows the picture with the AI corrected effects. I especially only failed some improvement for the AI reflection eraser feature. While for other two options, I didn't feel major difference for original and the processor photos. Next most anticipated AI feature is the circle to search. In the old update, I didn't got this one too, but now it's working. We just need to long press on the navbar pill present at the bottom of the screen and then circle the part of the screen for which we want the detailed Google search. This is pretty useful feature and it's working perfectly. Now let's talk about the battery stats. I charged my device to the 100% before shooting of this video. Then continuously I shoot at this video while using my device at least for one and a half hour. Even I ran the full Geekbench performance testing, still my device battery was just drained to 98% with the high performance mode setting. Still I will report the full user's results after 2 to 3 days using the AccuBattery testing application on the community post. So this is all about this new Oxygen S15 V300 update which added some amazing AI features and add-ons with the battery improvement. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of all OnePlus 12R related content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.